hey guys it is pretty windy over here i hope the voice is going to come okay so i put the smaller telescopes here just to make sure to tell you all that you don't need a huge telescope if you wanted to take a picture of the comet neowise you can just use like a dslr with a telephoto lens and a shorter exposure like 5 seconds or 10 seconds and probably with the iso 1600 or 3200 you should be able to take a pretty good picture of the comet neowise you don't need a tracking mount or anything some people are even using their cell phones uh, putting that in the night mode and taking a 5 10 second exposure it's decent enough you can actually take a good look so comet neowise is getting brighter as it is approaching the sun in my last video i was using like big telescope to take a picture i showed you all a close up view of the comet so this morning i was able to take the picture of the comet neowise on the east side the northeast side and i think with red cat it came out good so most of my inquiries are coming from either us uk or india so if you are in the us particularly in the evening time frame right next to the sunset you should be able to see close to the horizon very close to the horizon you should be able to locate this comet pretty close to the ursa major constellation right below that or right next to it depends on when you are looking at so the ursa major is going to come down and this comet is going to go up as it moves from july 14th through july 23rd it moves more and more into the dark night right below the ursa major constellation you should be able to see this comet pretty bright and clear i keep getting lot of questions from india as well it's the same thing in the evening time just right after the sunset to the right side of the sun below the ursa major you should be able to locate this comet if you are in uk and if you do have access to close to the horizon like even today or tonight or tomorrow night you should have a better view of this comet so last night i was able to capture a pretty good view of lagoon and trifid nebula i will provide more in depth review and in depth uh, tutorials how to take pictures using this red cat so i just wanted to show you guys the close up view of the setup here so this is the william optics red cat so behind the william optics red cat i do have a filter slider here so this filter slider came from like star zona i have opto long l enhanced filter here this is going to take some pretty good pictures of the deep sky objects so this is a spacer i have a 21 mm zwo spacer so this is a dedicated astronomy camera zwo 071 it's a one shot color camera and this is actually a zwo ring usually it connects the camera but actually if you see close closer it's not even touching the camera so i bought the next size ring just to make sure that i can put a red dot finder and if you come down here i removed the dovetail that comes with the red cat and i put a celestron universal adapter here and on top here i have the william optics bracket i have a zwo mini guide scope and a mini guide camera this is 120 mm so this is the ioptron sky guider pro and uh, this is the extra bracket basically it brings the weight down uh, if you have a bigger scope here on the top you can bring the counter weight down a little bit more and uh, this is uh, zwo asa air pro i will provide more in depth review and in depth uh, tutorials how to take pictures using this red cat Thank you.